This is the air I breathe. This is the air I breathe. Your holy presence living in me. Give all praise to the Most High Higher. We're going to start off with a prayer. Open up, open up the Sabbath. Abanawa. Abanawa. Shabbat Kudash. Haya. Shonka. Ahaya. Malakwaka. Taba. Ratazawanka. Haya. Isha. Ba'aratiza. Kawa. Haya. Bashamayim. Latananawa. Lakam. Kayawan. Wasalak Nawa. Kawabwat Nawa. Kasalak Nawa. Kawabwat Yanawa. Wala A. Taba A Nawa. Bana Sayawan. Aba. Hawashi Nawa. Man. Ra. Kayalaka. Hamalakwa. Waha Allah. Waha Tafura. La Iwalamya. Aman. Aman. You repeat after me, brothers and sisters. Shamaya Sharala Ahaya Alahaya Nawa Ahaya Aka. 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 Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. Praise to the Most High. Take a seat, brother. First scripture we're going to open up to is Classicus, uh, or Sirach, from the Apocrypha. Okay. Yes, it's chapter 9, starting at verse 8, and we're going to go to verse 18. Chapter 9, yes, 8, verse 8, yes, right in the 8. Chapter 9, Ecclesiasticus, chapter 9, verse 8, and it reads this wise. <clears throat> Turn away thine eye from a beautiful woman, and look not upon another's beauty. For many have been deceived by the beauty of a woman. For herewith love is kindled as a fire. Sit not at all with another man's wife, nor sit down with her in thine arms, and spend not thy money with her at the wine, lest thine heart incline unto her. And so through thy desire, thou fall into destruction. Forsake not an old friend, for the new is not comparable to him. 
A new friend is as new wine. When it is old, thou shalt drink it with pleasure. Envy not the glory of a sinner, for thou knowest not what shall be his end. He like not in the thing that the ungodly have pleasure in, but remember they should not go unpunished, unpunished speak up, unto their grave. Keep thee far from the man that hath power to kill, so shalt thou not doubt the fear of death. And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. Remember that thou goest in the midst of snares, and that thou walkest upon the battlements of the city. As near as thou canst, guess at thy neighbor, and consult with the wise. Let thy talk be with the wise, and all thy communication in the law of the Most High. And let just men eat and drink with thee. And let thy glory in be in the fear of the Most High. For the hand of the artificer, the work shall be commended, and the wise ruler of the people for his speech. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in the city. And he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. Okay. This is important that, that we separate from envy, separate from the separate our hearts from the desires of the of the, of the world desires. Verse fifteen. Let thy talk be with the wise. Let our talk be amongst each other. Okay. In all thy communication in the law of the Most High, only speak of righteousness, because our, our words hold power and open open the door to our heart. Okay. Okay. Uh, and let just men eat and drink with thee. And let thy glory be in the fear of the, of the Most High. Everything we do be in the fear of the Most High. For the hand of the artificer, the work shall be commended. And the wise ruler of the people for his speech. A man of an ill tongue is dangerous in his city. And he that is rash in his talk shall be hated. Even amongst each other, those who have been much speaking, draw the offense to others. Even, even by your words, even if your heart means well. So let your words be few. And everything you do in the fear of the most high. Yeah. And we're going to jump over to the, four, the 14th chapter. Yeah. 14, okay, starting at 9. Okay, starting at 1. All right. Blessed is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth. Uh, Acts 14. Um, yes, we didn't. Chapter yeah. 14, verse 1. Same same book in the apocryphal yeah. classic. Mm -hmm. Okay, you there? I'll write now. I'll write Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus chapter 14, verse 1. Starting at 1. Blessed is the man that hath not slipped with his mouth, and is not pricked with the multitude of sins. Blessed is he whose conscience hath not condemned him. And who is not fallen from his hope in the Most High. Riches are not comely for a, a nigger. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. I've never seen that. That's very funny. And what should an envious man do with money? He that gathereth by defrauding his own soul gathereth for others that shall spend his goods riotously. Can we go over verse 3 right quick again? I'm go, go over verse 3. Okay. Verse 3 it says, Riches are not comely for a nigger. I find that very interesting. That's why I stopped at that. Mm -hmm. Because we know that we are considered as a proverb and a byword, a non people. And that word that we're considered is right there, nigger. Here. Right? Nigger. Here. Right there. And it says right here that riches are not comely or will not come to here. those that have the spirit. And if they do have the money. If it does come to them, mm -hmm. it's not coming. It's not going to last. Mm -hmm. It's not beautiful. It's an ugly thing because they don't know how to spend the money. They don't know how to utilize it. But, but, but that's, I just wanted to share. I just wanted to. Um, three, one more time, okay. I start at three. Mm -hmm. Riches are not comely for a nigger. And what should an envious man do with money? With our blessings, if we envy the world, our blessings are meaningless. How can, how can we use our blessings to please the Most High if our hearts are still in the world? Right? So, he that gathereth by defrauding his own soul gathereth for others that shall spend his goods riotously. He that is evil to himself, to whom will he be good? He shall not take pleasure in his goods. 
There is none worse than he that envieth himself. And this, say, say that one more time, bro. The, 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 yes, sir. Yes, sir. There is none worse that he than he that envieth himself. How can you envy yourself? Come on. Speak up. There is none worse than he that envieth himself, and this is a recompense of his wickedness. It's a recompense of your wickedness. It's your thoughts of your old man. You envy in yourself. You see? Father. And if he doeth good, he doeth it unwillingly, and at the last he would declare his wickedness. The envious man hath a wicked eye. He turneth away his face and despiseth men. A covetous man's eye is not satisfied with his portion, and the iniquity of the wicked drieth up his soul. Mm -hmm. And this, this is why it's important that we continue to preach on the end, the end times, because as, as long as we keep our mind focused on the end times, we have, we have no thought of, of, of the time today. Because I, if, I, if, if our souls belong to the Father, if our souls belong in the kingdom, they don't belong here. So neither of the things that are in this world can, can incline to our hearts. We have to separate our hearts completely. Can we get can we get Luke? Luke 12, chapter 12, verse 5. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he had killed, had power to cast into hell. Yea, I say unto you, fear him. Read that one more time, brother. But I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he had killed, had power to cast into hell. Fear is important because fear directs, directs our path. All right? So when we fear the Most High, we, our path is set on him. It's not on the things of the world. The most important thing is separating our, ourselves from this world, because even though we, we, we separate ourselves from, from the, our wicked ways, our, it's time to incline our hearts to the spirit so that we can be led to the direct path to the kingdom. And our fear in the most high leads us to this place, feeds us, feeds us to the righteous path. Okay? I'm going to jump over to Luke chapter 15. Chapter 15, please. Chapter 15. Verse 21. Everybody harmonize? Huh. Everybody feel this? Huh. Okay. And desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, moreover, the dogs came and licked his shoes, swords. 15 and 21. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. It's, it's chapter 12. It is chapter 12. Verse 15. Shalaki. It's Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Shalaki. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. Start at 15, verse 9. And he said unto them, Take heed and beware of covetousness, for a man's life consisteth not in the abundance of the things which he possesseth. Our, our spirit is life. It doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't measure up to the things of the world. Okay. Our spirit inside of us is more worthy than anything seen. All right. Okay. Now we're moving on to. Oh, we're gonna keep going down. Oh, I'm sorry. You got it, 
So now we're going to uh, 20, oh, 15 through 21. Okay. And he spake a parable unto them, saying, The ground of a certain rich man brought forth plentifully. And he thought within himself, saying, What shall I do? Because I have no room where to bestow my fruits. And he said, This will I do. I will pull down my barns and build greater. And there will I bestow all my fruits and my goods. And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But the Most High Power said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then who shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that layeth up treasure for himself, and is not rich toward the Most High Power. Right. So we need to always have our heart rich and ready to be ready to go to the King at all times. Okay. And let's get let's get into Ephesians, Ephesians chapter four. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 1. I therefore, the prisoner of the Most High, beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation wherewith ye are called with all lowliness. All lowliness. With meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. This is important. This is important to unify. This is Israel. But in the, in the kingdom, it speaks of the apocalypse of Paul that there's two places righteousness go. There's ones who go who have cast out the desires of the world and it reigns with Christ. There's others who cast out the world, yet they have pride in their heart and are not worthy to go to the city of Christ. So having love in your heart is, is, a, is a very important part of keeping the commandments. It separates the Pharisees from the followers of Christ. Uh, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. There is one body. One body. And one spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. One creator. One faith. One baptism, one mighty power, and Father of all, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. But unto every one of us is given grace, according to the measure of the gift of Hamashiach. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? And we're here in Jordan, where one of the lowest parts of the earth exists, fulfilling the Father's will, trying our best to fulfill the Father's will. He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens. And he might fill all things with his glory on the land. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Hamashiach. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Listen, this is very key. Till we all come in the unity of the faith. Mm -hmm. Not one, not two, not 139,000, not 143,999, but until we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High Power and to a perfect man and to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we henceforth be no more children, 
tossed to and fro and carried about with every wind of doctrine, a non people, a stupid people, by the slate of hand and cunning craftiness whereby they lie and wait to deceive. But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things which is the head, even Hamashiach. Don't be discouraged when, when brothers and sisters separate themselves because they're just at a different level of faith. Because in the end, we all are meeting one power, one faith, and one, one Lord. Okay? But speaking the truth in love may grow up into him in all things, even is the head, even Hamashiach, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplied according to the effectual working in the measure of every part make it increase of the body and to the edifying of itself in love. This I say therefore and testify in Hamashiach that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their minds having the understanding dark. Let fear rule in our mind. Being alienated from the life of the Most High God through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart who being past fear have given themselves over into lascivious, lasciviousness 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 to work all uncleanness with greediness. But ye have not so learned, Hamashiach. If so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him that the truth is in Hamashiach, that ye put off concerning the former conversation of the old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that ye put on the new man, which after the most high power is created in righteousness and true holiness, wherefore putting away lying, Speak every man's truth with his neighbor. We are members of one another. We are members of each other. We are all the same body. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor, working with his hands, the thing which is good that he may have to give to him that need it. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good to the use of edifying, that it may minister grace to the hearers. And grieve not the Holy Spirit of the Most High Power, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption. That all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be ye kind one to another. Be tender hearted, forgiving one another. Even as the Most High Power, for Hamashiach's sake, I forgive you. Praise the Most High. Let's get First Peter. First Peter, chapter three, verse eight, starting at verse eight, chapter three. Um, First Peter, chapter three, verse eight, and it begins on this wise: Finally, be ye all of one mind. Having compassion one of another, one of another, love as brethren, be pitiful, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil, or railing for railing, but contrarywise blessing, knowing that ye are therein to call. Understand that we are called. We are here for a reason. When our brother gets out of line, we don't argue them down. We set the light by our spirit. Mm -hmm. Not against anger with anger or railing with railing. Mm -hmm. 
knowing that ye are there and so called that you should inherit a blessed way. Excuse me. Back of verse 9. Not rendering evil for evil, or rarely for rarely, but contrary wise, doing the exact opposite, blessing, knowing that ye are therein too called, that ye should not, that ye should, speak up, inherit a blessing. That we should inherit a blessing. The kingdom is our blessing. Okay? And let's jump over to chapter 5 real quick. Okay, we're in Peter chapter 5. We're going to start at verse 5. Go through by 5 and 6. Okay, and it reads on this wise. Likewise, ye younger, submit yourself unto the elder. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and be clothed with humility with the most high power. Resist it, the proud and give it grace to the humble. Don't be discouraged if, if the plans that we have in our head don't be fulfilled as we assume they should be fulfilled. Because the Most High gives grace to the humble. It's our time in this time to correct the unity in ourselves and each other. Okay? We, we left for a reason. Now we ask the Most High, what, what should we do? This is a time to be patient and, and collect the unity, collect love within ourselves. Strengthen our spirit. Humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of the Most High Power, that he may exalt you in due time. That he may exalt you in due time. Okay. Under your time, okay. under the Most High's time, okay? <laughs> I'll pray. Let's get, first, let's get Philippians, Philippians chapter 2. Forgive me, I'm on um, a little right brand. Okay, Philippians chapter 2, chapter 2, verse 2. Okay. Are we all harmonized? Uh, okay. Chapter 2, verse 2. Fulfill ye my joy, that ye be like minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Fulfill ye my joy. That ye be like minded. When we come in unity and like mind, it is joy to the Most High. Having the same love, being of one accord, and of one mind. Okay, keep going. So, let nothing be done through strife or vainglory. Nothing through vainglory. When you correct your brothers, don't let it be your vainglory that you correct them, but let it be love that, that you're helping a piece of you. Okay? But in lowliness of mind, lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. Look, not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. Let this mind be in you, which was also in Hamashiach, Yeshu, Yeshua, who being in the form of the Most High Power, thought it not robbery to be equal with the Most High, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant. We must be servants. And was made in the likeness of men. We must serve each other. And being found in fashion as a man. And was made in the likeness of men. And being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. Okay. Let's get chapter three. Jump over to chapter 3, verse 13. Okay. All right. We are harmonized. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth into those things which are before. Just forget the world. Just forget it. Okay? Yes. That's what being called out is all about. Yes. And look forward. Yes. 
Brethren, I count not myself to have happened. But this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth into those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high power and how much she this right. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if in anything ye be otherwise minded, the most high power shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained. Let us walk by the same rule. Let us mind the same thing. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. If, if Christ is not paying heed to the nonsense, we should not be paying heed to nonsense either. Mm -hmm. All right? Even, even what comes on TV, even what we read in books, even what we see, everything. Our eyes are the light to our soul. Only have righteousness come through our eyes. That's important. For many walk, of whom I have told you all, and now I'll tell you even, Weep, that they are the enemies of the cross of Hamashiach, whose end is destruction, whose most high power is their belly, and whose glory is in their shame. Go over 19. Read 19. Whose end is destruction? The end is destruction. We can't envy the world because they don't know their end. We do. Whose power is their belly? Their power is their belly. They feed. They use food as their God. And whose glory is in their shame. Who mind earthly things. They mind earthly things. For our conversation is in heaven. Our conversation must be as if we're in heaven already. Praise the Lord. Conversation is in heaven. I'm in heaven. I need to come down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. From whence also we look for the Savior. Hamashiach is who shall change our vile body that it may be fashioned like unto his glorious body according to the working whereby he is able even to subdue all things unto himself. Praise him. So do everything you do that is righteous. And if you see in your mind that it's not righteous, then forsake it. Right? James chapter 4. James chapter 4. James chapter 4, starting at verse 1. From whence come wars and fighting among you? From whence come wars and fighting among you? Come they not hence, even of your lust that war in your members. Ye lust and have not. Ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. He ask and receive not, because he ask and miss. You ask and miss. You ask for your own pleasure and not of the Most High. That ye may consume it upon your lust. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High power. Thoughts that are of the world, the Most High hates this. And you're exalting your hate to the Most High when your thoughts dwell in the world. When your thoughts dwell in the lust of your flesh. When you, when you dwell in covetousness, which is the desires of your, of your heart. The desires of your heart is covetousness. We have to sacrifice our body because our bodies is nothing. It's just the flesh. It's always going to come to an end. We know the end is destruction. But our spirit must serve the Most High and be a slave to righteousness. That everything we do is a slave to, to Yeshaya and to be referencing him. Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy, enemy of the Most High Power. Do you think that the scripture saith in vain? 
the spirit that dwelleth in us lusteth to envy? But he giveth more grace. Wherefore he saith, Allahenu resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Allahenu resisteth the proud, but giveth grace unto the humble. Submit yourselves, therefore, to the Most High Power. Submit to each other. Don't fall to envy. Envy of your, even envying yourself of your old man that we left. Even the desires that we once had can, can creep back into our heart. We have to forsake even our old man as we forsake unrighteous people. Resist Hasatan and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to the Most High Power and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double minded. Be afflicted. And mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Most High Power. And He shall lift you up. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of his brother and judgeth his brother speaketh evil of the law and judgeth the law. But if thou judgest the law, Thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judges another? Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there again and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? Is even a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanishes away. For that ye ought to say, if the Most High will, we shall live and do this or that. If the Most High will, we shall live and do this or that. But now ye rejoice in your boasting. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore, to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him it is sin but now ye rejoice in your boastings boasting in ourselves all such rejoicing is evil therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him and her, it is sin. Let's go to Ecclesiastes chapter 5 in the Bible. The time. I need to learn my book. And I'm going to be honest with, with the people that's watching this. Don't be embarrassed if you don't know the book. You understand? Okay? Because guess what? This is an opportunity for me to learn and to know this book. I'm going to know this book before, yes, before it's all said. Don't down. be discouraged if you don't have much wisdom in the scriptures either. <laughs> exactly. If your heart is operating under love and truth, then the spirit will guide you, even if you lack much knowledge. Yeah. Please, yes. Take me there, brother. Take me there, brother. I'm humbling myself to this young brother right here. You understand? Because it ain't about me being older than him and him being younger than me. It's a spirit of love and humility. And I'm letting you know right now, I don't know the book like I should, but in spirit and truth, I love my brother and my sister. Okay? And that is the royal law, and that's what we need to focus on and concentrate on. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. Chapter 5, verse 2. Thank you. Be not rash with thy mouth, and let not thine heart be hasty to utter anything before the Most High. For the Most High is in heaven, and thou upon earth. Therefore let thy words be few. For a dream cometh through the multitude of business, and a fool's voice is known 
by a multitude of words. When thou vowest a vow unto the Most High, defer not to pay it. Defer not to pay it. For he hath no pleasure in fools. Pay that which thou hast vowed. Better is it that thou shouldest not vow than that thou shouldest vow and not pay. Suffer not thy mouth to cause thy flesh to sin. Neither say thou before the angel. It was an error. Wherefore should the Most High be angry at thy voice and destroy the work of thine hands? For the multitude of dreams and many words there are also diverse vanities with fear that most high power. In our much speaking, don't let it lead us to sin. Because the most high will be angry at this. We have to be patient in our own selves. Even, even the very words that we speak, we must watch our own words, watch our own soul. And, and judge ourselves. Because when, you, when you're not judging yourself, you're busy judging others. And if you're judging others, those are the people who get offended when they get corrected. Now let's go to 2 Timothy. Second Timothy chapter two, verse fourteen. Two and fourteen, we did. Two and fourteen. Two and fourteen. Thank you. Praise the most high. Of these things put out of these things put them in remembrance, charging them before the most high. But they strive not about words to no purpose, to the subverting of the hearers. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high. A workman that needeth not to be ashamed. Rightly dividing the word of truth. Let's go. Let's start at 14 one more time. Verse 14, second to the video. Chapter 2, verse 14. Of these things, put them in remembrance, charging them before the Most High. But they strive not about words to no profit, but to the subverting of the hearers. Study. Let, let not your words show how much you have come to the truth, for only you and the Most High know this. But let when you speak, let it be edifying and thankful for others. Or not speak at all. Study to show thyself approved. Where, you don't have to say your words to show how much the Most High loves you. Let that be between you and the Most High. Nobody was going to judge you. Nobody was operating in the Spirit. Study to show thyself approved unto the Most High. A workman that needed not be the same. Rightly dividing the word of truth, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase into more ungodliness. And their word will eat as Dr. Kenke, of whom is Hymenaeus and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred, saying that the resurrection is past already and overthrow the faith of some. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Most High standeth sure, having this seal, the Most High knoweth them that are his. And let every one that nameth the name of Yeshaya HaMashiach depart from iniquity. We can't, we can't depend on the Most High sacrifice in his son, Yeshaya. We have to be our sacrifice. Yeshua came as an example. Not he came to sacrifice himself, but also to show us that we must sacrifice ourselves too. Yes. But in the great house, there are not only vessels of gold and of silver, but also of wood and of iron, and some to honor and some to dishonor. If a man therefore purge himself from these, 
he shall be a vessel into honor, sanctified and meet for the master's use and prepared into every good work. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, charity, peace with them that call on the Most High out of a pure heart but foolish and unlearned questions avoid, knowing that they do gender strikes. And the servant of the Most High must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach, patient, Safe. in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves. If the Most High power, peradventure will give them repentance, to the acknowledging of the truth, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of Hashatan, who are taken captive by him at his will. We were made to serve, all right? That's what we don't understand. When you are serving yourself, you are not free. You are, you are, a, slave, you are a slave to your own self. But being a servant of the Most High and a servant of righteousness, we are free. This, that is a mystery itself. Oh. Mm -hmm. This, Proverbs. Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 18. Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18. Proverbs 18. Is a mystery. The Most High is teaching me humility right now. I'm thankful. I'm so thankful to the Most High for teaching me humility. 18. Man. I was puffed up. Before, before today. Before today, I was puffed up. I let this little, this little brother right here show, show me out right now. He got me wanting to go study and show myself approved and learn this book. Yes, sir. The, the order of the book. Okay. We're going to talk though. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna build. Thank you for giving me this opportunity, Most High. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Connor, for giving me the opportunity. Okay? Thank you all for listening, for being here. I thank this brother for being astute and erudite. Smooth with the, because knowledge is supposed to make you smooth. You understand? Not puffed up. Smooth. I want everybody to look that word up before the end of the day. Erudite. Erudition. Okay. One and two. Thank you. Proverbs chapter, Proverbs, chapter 18. Mm -hmm. Starting verse one. 1. Starting at verse 1. Through desire, a man, having separated himself, seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. A fool hath no delight in understanding, but that his heart may discover itself. Mm -hmm. When the wicked cometh, then cometh also contempt, and with ignominy reproach. The words of a man's mouth are as deep waters, and the wellspring of wisdom as a flowing brook. It is not good to accept the person of the wicked, to overthrow the righteous in judgment. A fool's lips enter into contention, and his mouth calleth for strokes. A fool's mouth is his destruction, and his lips are the snare of his soul. The words of a talebearer are I hate you. Praise the most high. Praise the most high. Verse 8. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 8. The words of a talebearer are his wounds. And they go down into the innermost parts of the belly. He also that is slothful in his work. Is brother to him that is a great waster. Also, those who are not slothful in their work. You have to you have to measure their spirit because their their slothfulness or their lack of or their they, their attention to, to work may be for themselves and their their words will acknowledge it because their words are the light to their heart much of the heart abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh so we have to pay attention to the words of many of those people who we seek as friends okay and ones who talk too much lets them show their foolishness. The name of the Most High. We don't quit. Don't be not quick to give attention to our brothers and sisters. Don't give credit to people with quickness. Mm -hmm. 
Praise the Father. Let's go to let's go to chapter twenty nine. Proverbs chapter twenty nine, verse twenty. Verse twenty. Praise the Lord. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his word? There is more hope of a fool than of him. There is more hope of a fool than of a man who is hasty in his word. Mm -hmm. Chapter twenty nine, okay. verse twenty. Okay, yeah, verse 29. Yes, uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 20. Oh, yeah, that was what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, gotta, gotta catch up, gotta, gotta stay with us, sis. <laughs> wait, 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 look, look, look. I was gonna call up what he was saying. I was gonna <laughs> and you know that that's what's gonna happen to, to a man who's trying to deceive you. You'll get caught up in his spirit and not even listening to his word. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Say that, brother. Okay. 29, 20, Proverbs. Seest thou a man that is hasty in his words? There is more hope of a fool than of him. Uh -huh. He that delicately bringeth up his servant from a child shall have him become his son at the limit. And an angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man aboundeth in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. See, a man, you understand the pride in their heart when they speak much and bring themselves low. And they may not say it with their words, but in their spirit, they feel lowlessness. So they will speak more to, to show how embraced they are to the Most High. You see? But, but limit your words. But nobody judges you. But you judge it yourself with your many words. An angry man stirreth up strife, and a furious man abounded in transgression. A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. Whoso is partnered with the thief hateth his own soul. He heareth cursing, and betrayeth it not. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso putteth his trust in the Most High shall be saved. Many seek the ruler's favor, but every man's judgment cometh from the Most High. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. The natural enemy. Evil and good is natural enemy. Let's get Colossians 2, and we're ending Colossians. Colossians chapter two or verse we have no brother. Chapter one. Chapter one. Chapter one. And what verse? Excuse me. Colossians two and one. Two and one. For I would that ye knew, praise the most high. For I would that ye knew what great conflict I have for you, and for them at Laodicea, and for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and into all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of the most high power, and of the Father and of Hamashiach, in whom are hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In this essence, lest any man should beguile you with enticing words. For though I be absent in the flesh, yet am I with you in the spirit, joying and beholding your order and the steadfastness of your faith in Hamashiach. As ye have therefore received the master, so walk ye in him. Be rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rudiments of the world, and not after Hamashiach. For in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily, and ye 
are complete in him. Which is the head of all principality and power. In whom also ye are circumcised. With the circumcision made without hands. In putting off the body of the sins of the flesh by the circumcision of Hamashiach Yeshaya. Buried with him in baptism. Wherein also ye are risen with him. Through the faith of the operation of the most high power. Who hath raised him from the dead. And you being dead in your sins. And the uncircumcision of your flesh. Hath he quickened together with him. Having forgiven you all trespasses. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Which was contrary to us. And took it out of the way. Nailing it to the cross. To his cross. Praise And having spoiled principalities and powers. He made a show of them openly. Triumphing over the means. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. Let no man therefore judge you in meat. Or in drink. Or in respect of a holy day. Or of the new moon. Or of the Sabbath days. Which are just a shadow of things to come. But the body. Is Hamashiach. Yeshaya. Which are a shadow of things. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels, intruding into those things which he had not seen, mainly puffed up by his fleshly mind, and not holding the head, from which all the body by joints and bands, having nourishment, ministered and knit together, increasing with the increase of the most high power. Wherefore, if ye be dead with Christ from the rudiments of the world, why, as though living in the world, are ye subject to ordinances? Touch not, taste not, handle not, which all are to perish with the using, after the commandments and doctrines of men. Which things have indeed a show of wisdom, and will, worship, and humility, and neglecting of the body, not in any honor to the satisfying of the flesh. Hmm. If ye then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of the Most High God. Set your affection on things above, not on things of the earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Hamashiach in the Most High power. When Christ was our life, our light shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil conspicuousness, and covetous covetousness, which is they are all idolatry. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil, concupis, conspicuousness. He says covetousness is idolatry. Idolatry. Covet covetousness in the strong is desire in her. So anything you take desire in, it's not that's not wisdom, because desire wi wisdom is the female spirit. So in essence, when the when the when the female is the pleasure to the man physically, spiritually wisdom is the pleasure to the soul. So we should only take pleasure with wisdom. But if you take pleasure in anything seen, it's covetous and it's idolatry. With, with whatever it be, idolatry isn't just worshiping the cat. It's, 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 worshiping, it's worshiping anything you give honor to that's not the spirit of wisdom. And wisdom is understanding that comes from the knowledge of the truth. Okay? Where we are, brother, who's in the spirit. We are eight. Verse eight. But now he also put off all these, 
anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Where there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond nor free, but Christ is all and in all. Put on therefore as the elect of the most high power, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, and long suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. And above all, these things put on charity, which is the bond of perfectness. And let the peace of the Most High Power rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you, the rich in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the most high power. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of Hamashiach, Messiah, giving thanks the most high power and the father by him wives submit yourselves into your own husbands as it is fit in the most high power husbands love your wives and be not bitter against them he says wives submit to your husband and for us men are we are the bride of christ as israel we must submit to the to the mind of righteousness the knowledge of truth in our, in our, the Holy Spirit talks to us about righteousness. Okay? Don't be deceived by your heart. Let, let the righteousness in your mind rule your thoughts. Rule, let it rule over your, your actions. Okay? Because there's a war in your, in your very mind against righteousness and unrighteousness. And, you, and the thoughts in your mind are, will play on the desires of your heart. Okay? This is why we must protect our heart because the Most High judges our heart. And the, the, the righteous thoughts will direct and purify our heart. This, this is the meaning, this is, how we, this is how we come back to the Most High. This is how we come back to the Holy Spirit and being led by the Holy Spirit. Being, thinking for yourself is enmity. Okay? If you do not operate under the, under the righteous mind that leads your actions, the Most High will not even regard you. It says that in the wisdom of Solomon. Okay? Let's finish the chapter. Children, obey your parents in all things. For this is well pleasing to the Most High. <clears throat> Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers do, but in singleness of heart, fearing the Most High. Let me read this again from starting at 21. Starting at 21. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service as men pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing the Most High. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily as to the Most High, and not unto men. Knowing that of the Most High, ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for ye serve Yeshua, HaMashiach. But he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he hath done. And there is no 
respect of persons. There's no respect of persons. We must love each other as, as, as ourselves because we are, we are all judged equally to a righteous power. All right? And I end it with this death. Pray for all peace. Shalom. And let us uh, pass the Thank you, Everyone have a seat? Right. And let this be the blood of the Shia, that it rains through the spirit, through the, through the liquid that flows through the spirit, that understanding may come. The outpouring, that the outpouring of the Holy Spirit may shine forth upon all that we come in contact with. Let us pray. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Father Abba, we come to your Shabbat today and thanks that you deserve all glory and praise that our spirits may grow in understanding, Father. I pray that this that thanks uh, from the bottom of our hearts, Father, that you open your ears to your saints, Father. For we serve you, Father, higher. I ask you in the name of your son, Yeshia, to walk with us, Father. Walk with us throughout your tri these tribulations, Father. For these, for these end times, Father. To give us forgiveness, Father, of our sins. And we are turned to you, Father. For you deserve the glory. Ahaya Bahasin Yeshia. Baba Kosai Barak, Zah Tazada, Waiye Yan, Aman, Aman Sila.
I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, not looking for glory nor fame, prepare for the Savior. Keep your eyes on Mount Zion, prepare for the Savior. Can't you hear the children crying? I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, defending the Holy One's name. I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, not looking for glory or fame, prepare for the Savior. Divine Scripture, Holy Zion, prepare for the Savior. Please wake up your sleeping giants. I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, defending the Holy One's name. I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, not looking for glory nor fame, prepare for the Savior. The marriage of the Lamb. Prepare for the Savior. I am that I am. I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, defending the Holy One's name. I stand alone on the battlefield of righteousness, not looking for glory nor fame. Prepare for the Savior. Prepare for the Savior.